we just added speech to the mix. This is about a couple of days old now, um, where we are able to understand the emotions from your tone of voice, from how you're saying the words. So it's things like tone, energy, pitch, tempo, loudness. And we're able to map that into a number of emotional states. I'll show you a couple of examples. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an example, obviously, of laughter detection. If you noticed, um, the laughter bar went up, but also arousal, which is an important dimension of emotions as well. It, it, and, it, and it fires with the intensity of the emotion, regardless of how positive or negative it is. The next one is an example that I think a lot of us resonate with. You're talking to an automated agent, it's putting you on hold, and you're not happy. Are you kidding me? I want to speak to a human. I hate being on hold. So you can see that the anger bar fired up there. Um, now, the next example is a clear demonstration that we're not looking at all at the words um, that are being said, but it's in how you're saying the words. Lavender body wash makes my pores tingle. <laughs> um, we're in the process of improving these algorithms, so we've collected about 6 million face faces and speech or audio sessions from 87 countries around the world. And this data set serves as our training and validation data set. And it's all spontaneous. So these examples of, of the guy were, were obviously acted because we don't have permission to share a lot of our data. Um, but the data we have is just spontaneous people like emoting on their phones or driving around, I don't know, Tokyo or, you know, video interviews. And, and, and it's very important that this data is natural and collected in the wild. <laughs> 